Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy J Mitch. I'm up here at RC Discount, up here with the man Mark, the myth, the legend. This is another one of Mark's bad creations, you know, bad in a good way, though. So, um, before we get into it, I'm gonna say please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to your man's channel. Check out my man Adam at RC Discount. We're in the back room, there's a lot of stuff going on in the front room, but I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Mark, yo, tell them what you got going on underneath this car, sir. What's up, YouTube? What's going on, guys? Uh, so I got this DBXL. Uh, it's a 2.0, actually. Um, it's a gas. I like the gas. And I just uh, want to make it a street version. Um, took off the stock wheels. Actually, bought these wheels from uh, Armor John himself. Uh, it's right on here. They hook up great. Made a, uh, these are um, MCD. These the MCD wheels. If you're yeah, looking MCD for these wheels, wheels yep. yeah, MCD 24 yep. millimeter hex wheels. Got them from Cardinal Racing. Yep. They hook up great. I made this uh, carbon fiber wing. I made that all out of uh, carbon sheets, carbon fiber. I also got the whole air kit off out of here. If you guys are familiar with the original version, the K&N version comes out of the side. I really like that. Um, it's got a lot of other stuff under it as well. I messed with the suspension. Let's pop the hood on this thing, get this thing up. Mm, yeah, you gonna pop the hood, show y'all what he got going on and underneath. That's what I have done to this so far. Yeah. So, I don't know if you guys are aware, but there's a, an issue with the first with the um, 2.0 gas tanks uh, right down here on the back side of the very very tank there's like a little I guess it's like a finishing hole where they finish the plastic molding it mm -hmm. the fuel over time eats through it and it's closing all that so I wound it up this is a DGI DBXL 1.0 gas tank in here that I made to fit into the 2.0 this bracket right here I just swapped around as well and I had to countersink some new holes in the bottom in order for it to work so that's hooked up. Also did like a high pressure fuel flow kit. I mean, it's got the carbon fiber, uh, extreme carbon fiber, um, I'm sorry, extreme racing, I should say, right, John? Yeah. Extreme racing uh, carbon fiber kit. Um, it's got an upgraded pinion for more top end. It's got a pipe on it. It's got a light and flywheel. I mean. What kind of pipe is that? Uh, oh my goodness, I forget the name. One of the big brand. Big Barlone or? Oh, Barlone, yeah, thank you. All right. Barlone. Yeah, had it here in the shop. Just converted this uh, lipo wire or this stock um, radio to, receiver uh, box. Yeah, receiver box also with the receiver battery for Dean's plug. You know, give you the least resistance possible to servos. The next big upgrade is the two servos. Other than that, man, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. And also a little subtle change for you guys with DBXL. If you notice, the front is different. That's how it's more cut out. It's not straight like they normally are. I think this gives it more definition of the shocks and everything. Makes it more look like a like a buggy type. Deal, so. Also, I see you deleted the uh, the, the <coughs> light bar at the top. Yeah, I took the light bar off. I'm not extra guys around here. I'll tell you, I'm not picking the lights. So, <laughs> what's the vision of this car for you? What, what kind of what are you trying? What's your what's your plan? Like, what are you trying to do with this? Are you going to go off road with it? Is it more of a street build? No, it's strictly uh, on road. I know if they're meant to be off road, but if you guys familiar with gas cars and just dirt in general oil and dirt do not mix and i just don't feel like cleaning it and i really like on-road anyway so i want something different you know i want to convert to on-road because there's not an off an on-road dbxl gas one out there right now not that i know of I like this so, okay okay i like this wing man i gotta spend a little bit more time on this wing when i when i saw the wing i said this is another one of mark's crazy creations man and this thing is badass um you guys gonna make these in the shop right yeah, in the shop. Yep, I'll make them. We can make them pretty much for anything too, if you guys want. Um, just blank sheets of carbon fiber. I'll make it myself, hand cut with the Dremel and nicely filed down. Got some tricks for it. Been doing it for probably two years now. Making my own carbon fiber. Yeah. So you guys hear that? If you guys are interested in this wing, this I think this same wing mount will fit on the, the DBXL regular version yeah, as well. Same exact wing, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So this will fit on any version of the dbxl yep. um so if y'all interested i'm gonna leave the information um uh i'll leave the information in the in the video description for you guys um and um you guys can contact adam and get pricing on it uh, this is the first one um like he said he'll make it for you guys as needed yes sir yeah yeah 100%. so yo mark thank you for uh oh, gosh, thank sharing you. sharing 
the bill. And you know, I'm here. No, no problem. Why, you know, I'm here in the shop anyway. Let's just walk around the shop and see what Adam got on the shelf for y'all. You know what I mean? So, um, y'all see the man over there talking to the customer. You know what I mean? Well, he got a got a used felony, got some other stuff, got an infraction. Somebody stole the rims in the park from this joint. Got another infraction down here for sale. Bro, I'm like, listen, why you got the new axial down there? New sin, got a brand new in the box Max 4S. Got the new low seam L and T Coon again. Got one out the box, the bog hide. Got some new uh, bolts. Got some uh, Habao. Uh, what's that? That's not a Habao. That's a uh, Kyosho. Yeah. Uh, this is actually that's my build too. Oh, this is another one of Mark's build. A nice little Kyosho. You see that carbon fiber? You come in here nine times out of ten, Mark touched his put it, had his hands on that build. You know what I mean? Got a, a hooked up fire team. This is used. This is like seven eight hundred bucks they selling it for. Some nice stuff in there. No, it's stock, but it got an 8S setup in there. So that's a nice little build. Uh, I don't know what that is, but that's a nice build down there. He got some new stock down there. Got this infraction. Might be coming home with your mans. I don't know. Got to think about it. Got a, a, a nice TLR Typhon, brand new. It's already built. Got a Castle uh, 2200 combo in it. Got a, a brand new Power Hobby servo in it. It's ready to go. It's a beast. It's another crawler. Got some nice stuff in the shop, man, if you guys are looking for it. I'm going to um, leave uh, his information in the video description as always. I'm going to take y'all back here. I'm going to close it out here. I'm going to say thank y'all very much for watching. You know, uh, shout out to my homie Dave Hubbard. Rest in peace. Uh, shout out to my homie Big Willie. Shout out to the homie Ted. Shout out to Adam at RC Discount. Shout out to Big Mark at RC Discount. Shout out to the homie Hector at RC Discount. You know, this is my shop, man. This is how we do. Um, thank y'all for watching. Y'all be good now. Peace.